Hello guys, welcome back to the SAP Tutor channel. Don't forget to hit on the like button and get subscribed to this channel to get more interesting videos on SAP. Today's topic is very in interesting. We are going to learn how we can integrate crystal reports with SAP ECC. Reporting is a need of every business and this provides a way to the business where to move ahead. Entering so much of data into your traditional ERP and generating meaningful reports is what we are going to learn today. Crystal reports, crystal reports are flexible and provides interactive and effective reporting to the requirement. SAP ECC allows crystal reports to get embedded into the ALV that is our ABAP list viewer and dynamic reports to get generated out of it. Single ALV can have multiple crystal reports and without any extra effort and infrastructure crystal reports can be effective solution to the business need. Let's start now how to configure ALV and crystal reports. Double click on the SAP logon pad on your desktop. Double click on the SAP tutor connection to open the connection. We need to log into our SAP environment to integrate the ALV and crystal report. Now we'll enter our user ID. Let us enter the password. As we have logged into SAP, before configuring crystal reports, let's see how the T codes of ALB looks like and what are the options available. Let's see how the T code ME2N look like into an ALV report. We'll be entering few of the parameters to run the report. Let us enter few of the parameters into the report and uh, in the pur purchasing organization let us enter 1000 enter ALV in the scope of list press the execute button to run ME2N has been executed now and it's there on our screen on top of we have multiple menus within that we have view menu bar let us click on the view menu bar and see what all options we have there we can see SAP list viewer we can see Lotus 1 to 3 and we can see the crystal reports but the crystal report is grayed out here as it is great we can't use the crystal reports with ALV we can see the ALV report its detail on the screen there are various columns and details available now let us go back and see what we can do to enable it click on the back button and go back to the main menu now let us start to configure and embed crystal report and ALV in the SAP ECC let us type SALV underscore GUI underscore CUST to get the crystal embedded we will allow crystal report and click on it to enable the crystal report we can enable the spreadsheet format and we can set the format as per our need we can select the latest Excel format we need to click on the save button to get it configured and allow crystal reports and spreadsheets for ALV 
while saving a TR gets generated we need to click on the continue button click on the back button and go back to the main menu let us type the T code ME2N and see what is the effect after the configuration has been done press the enter button enter the purchasing organization enter ALV as scope of click on the execute button to run the report ME2N report has been executed and let's see how crystal reports can be viewed within this scenario click on the view menu bar now we can see that crystal reports is enabled and can be clicked on the screen now we can see the crystal report has been generated and whatever detail was there on the ALV grid is being presented on your screen through a crystal report on the left side we can see the document numbers and uh, we can see the title of the report we can see the format of the report it is different from what ALV was it is all well formatted in the crystal report we can further scroll on the report and see how it looks like and the formatting of the report we can see various document number we can click on the document number and directly drill down into the report we can see the same document number let us click on some other document number and see the effect we can see the drill down effect on the crystal report we have got that number scroll the report full screen button is available we can full screen the crystal report viewer and see the complete report on our desktop we can toggle the group tree button and see it on the full screen and again click on this button and embed back to the SAP screen we have came back to the SAP screen and see the report now going a step further we can develop our own crystal report and design it according to our business requirement we can choose those reports through the layout button as we have imported those crystal report for ME2N I'll show you how it happens in the layout we will choose one of the reports and see the another design format is on the screen this has been designed based on plant wise and, and on the left side we can see all the plants related to that purchasing organization we can drill down on those plants and see the effect the value is being changed accordingly on the selection of plant can be drilled into any of the plant and see the detail there is a page break on each and every plant we can see one more design report on crystal
we can drill down into more details and see how it looks like. At the bottom of the report you can see graphs, you can embed anything which is required for the business. Now by choosing the layout once again we can go back to the standard ALV format. Select the standard layout and we are back into the SAP standard layout ALV list view. Let us learn how to take the PDF of the report format which we have developed just now. We will execute back the crystal report by selecting the layout from choose layout box and see the reports we will click on the export button we will select PDF as a uh, save as type and uh, the file name and click on the save button click on the save button to save the report once the report get generated into PDF you will see a dialog box coming and which says export is completed let us minimize the window and see the report as we can see the PDF is generated on the desktop let us double click and open the PDF now we are back to our SAP main screen and on ME2N report let's go back to the main screen we will be going back to the main screen now let us see some other reports where there is no view button on the ALV grid how crystal report can be accessed on those reports let's see and try to generate the crystal report let us open the T code FBL1 and and provide the parameters type in the company code and execute the button to run as we can see there is no view menu bar on top and uh, now we need to generate crystal on this now what we are going to do we can generate crystal reports into this type of reports let's see how we can do it click on the change layout and go to the view tab select the crystal reports from the drop down list. click on the adopt button now we can see on our screen that the crystal report has been generated with the generic format and see all the information related to it in case we require few more information in the report we can go to the choose layout dialog box and select the field from it let us select the posting date and see the effect in the change layout button let's look for the posting date move the posting date to the displayed columns click on the adopt button we can see the posting date on the report let us enlarge the crystal report viewer the viewer is on the full screen we can further scroll and see those posting dates coming we will go back to the SAP screen now let's go back to the main screen moving back to the main screen 
So this is how we learnt all about crystal reports embedding into ALV list viewer. We will log off our session. Now we have learnt how we can embed our crystal reports with ALV and do further reporting based out of it and get all the interactive and best formatting reports out of SAP ECC. Thank you for joining us.